Hey, hey, hey! What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Here is another episode of Cooking with Fire. You know, I've been doing a lot of savory dishes, right? So I haven't done anything sweet in a minute, moment, in a minute. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is a really simple, easy, easy, three-ingredient peanut butter cookie. Just to let you know what it is. Check this out. All you need is one cup of peanut butter of any kind. This patina, particular peanut butter I'm using is organic, um, no sugar, um, peanut butter, nice and creamy. And so, you know, when you do dealing with the organic peanut butters, the oil is always that you have to like really stir to get the oils in, but it's always a creamier, you know, better to work with, I feel. Okay. So we have one cup, it also requires one egg, so we're going to dab that egg in there. Something real simple, real easy. Also, the kids, think about it, so easy. One cup of sugar, and of course I'm using my granddaughter's Howard University where she will be going. That's so, we got one cup of sugar. You know, that is all of the requirements, the ingredients, okay? So all we're going to do now is create our cookie. We're going to mix it all up. Now you can double this recipe. I didn't double it, you know. Um, didn't double it. Just uh, made it single batch, but it depending on how much you want. Look at that. Look at this. See how... There's nothing that when we make cookies and stuff is in there. You know, we didn't use the flour, the all of the baking soda, vanilla. You know what goes into the ingredients of the cookie. You know, the butter, you know, the flour, all that. <laughs> so imagine leaving out the middle bit. <laughs> it looks like it's really good and ready to start. And so over here, a little bit of the sugar on top to do the little crisscross got the little fork right here so we're gonna do is just use a teaspoon okay and just going to form ourselves a ball hands are washed just to let you know I'm not gonna do a glove <laughs> for these <laughs> so we're just gonna go straight in bare hand okay and just uh, kind of create a a little ball there the pan is not greased because the peanut butter is already full of butter <laughs> and so there's no requirement to even grease the pan now you can put parchment paper down if you choose to um, I would have if it was available <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> so it's also about working with what you got back in the day I never even knew anything about parchment paper to be honest and we did all of our bacon with flour, you know, a little grease and flour and, you know, and that was it. So anyway, we're going to get these on here. And um, then we're going to uh, sugar crisscross them. Okay. And um, yeah. And they don't take but um, like eight minutes, you know, seven to eight minutes in the oven to cook. And so really quick. And really easy that's gonna be a little big but that's okay that's okay that's okay it doesn't matter the size <laughs> in the cookies trying to make them all even and things that's just gonna be a little bit too impossible but I do want to try to make them so when they do cook they will cook it the same kind of the same so you do kind of want to make them for cooking purposes you know not too different different from each other. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, a few more of these. I'm going to fill this pan up. That's why we didn't want to go double on it. I think it's always fun. This is easy. Yes, 
I have tried this and done this before. And I was extremely impressed, to be honest. I was impressed, you know. But this is not the kind of cookie for everybody. I don't know if you can do any other cookies with just these three ingredients. Um, I know there is a banana bread that you can do with just three ingredients, but your bananas have to be like almost raw. So when you, you know, uh, not raw, but I mean, I want to say rotten, but not rotten is not the right word. How about ripen? <laughs> That's the right word. You want them to be um, really good and ripen. So when they go into the blender, it will form um, a different type of uh, a liquid, I guess is what they were saying. So I was like, I want to try that one too next. You know, anything that easy. I do like banana bread. So, but again, you have to like bananas or you have to also not be allergic to peanut butter and um, like it. You know, it's, uh, all this is not for everybody. All right, so we have a full sheet here. So now, the next step is, let me get my little fork here. It's so cute. I'm using a little one this time. I want to get it wet. Moisture a little bit is what I want to say, so it would hold the sugar. And then you would just kind of, um, not a whole lot. But um, a bigger fork would give you a bigger print. But I'm using the tiny one because I just think it's cute. All right. There is no particular way. <laughs> Use your imagination when you do this. Have fun with it. Let the kids work it, do it, you know. Real easy, real simple. Not even a lot of a big mess to have to clean up even afterwards. Hey. They are totally not all equal. That is faux show. Sure. Sorry. So. I hope a lot of you out there are creating also using this time to learn who you are your gifts your talents what can you do bring to the universe you know to share with somebody else okay you making it a great day on purpose when we just existing okay but one of the things I found through all this is being creative and continuously using the mind you know, and not wasting my time, no matter what it is, be productive. We're going to put these in the oven for about eight minutes, and I'll see you then. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The cookies are done. They are ready to be eaten. One of the things you do not want to do is when it says let it cool for whatever time it says, don't be so hungry or excited to where you do not follow those instructions. So they broke, but it won't stop the flavor. Got us some milk here. You know, I haven't made cookies for, for my son in quite a while. He remem reminisces when he's a little boy. Come on, taste these cookies with me, son. <laughs> Got us some cookies and some milk. <laughs> hey, huh? Hey, hey. All right, all right. Okay. So all of them didn't break, though. Unfortunately, they all didn't break. All right. So this is already in half. We'll just go here. See how this turns out. Oh. Mm hmm. Too hot. Mm. I don't miss the flour and mm, it's just straight to the point peanut butter. This is straight to the point. Mm. What is this? Milk. Just normal milk? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> We're used to drinking 1%. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it turned out. Oh. 
Thank you for watching. Try it. Three ingredients only. One egg, one cup of peanut butter, and one cup of sugar. And that is it. That's all you need. Quick, fast, easy. About 10 minutes, depending on how thick they were. These are pretty thick. When you take them out, make sure they cool completely. Okay? All right. Thank you. Make it a great day on purpose. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and the bell for notifications. So when we come back on, you will know. All right? Thank you. Subscribe. Click like. Subscribe. Click, click, click that like. Uh. Cooking with fire. What's your desire? Let me make you some good to eat. It'd be so good you'll fall asleep. Now you cook it with fire. Elevating dishes higher. Let me fix you something sweet.